God bless you, beautiful. God bless you. I got a question for you. What's up? Say, say if I dropped the ball a while back and say, you know, I'm a husband and I have a wife and I have five, six kids, you know, seven, whatever. I say I dropped the ball with them a while back and I can't let something go and I just can't forgive myself and I can't seem to let it go or just move on and, and you know, be that better man and just quit doing, you know. How do I transform my mind to be a better person? To live like Jesus would or, or, or God or you know, how do I hear from the Holy Spirit? How do I do this? How do I, you know, switch my thoughts? Like a fiery dart got in there. Yeah. I would definitely consult God and pray, of course, of course. And you are a believer, so that I'd start there. And... We all mess up and we all drop the ball. None of us are perfect except Jesus. And sometimes forgiving ourselves can be the trickiest, really tricky. I would honestly though suggest doing the exact same things that we do when we're angry at other people, you know? Right. So when we have harboring feelings of unforgiveness or resentment towards other people, we, you know, we like to confess those feelings as sin to God. And then we like to repent of those, which is we want to tell God that we don't want to feel that way anymore. Right. And we want to voice that off our tongue. And sometimes we have to do that over and over and over and over. And every time those bad thoughts about, so what, uh, we do that towards ourselves. So I have to do it like every, every day or just once I do it, it's done or... Every single day until, and every, many times a day, depending on how often the thoughts come in. It right. would just depend. Right. And you would do something like, you want me to show you? Yeah, please. For example, like I'll use my name. I'm Amanda Wilcox. I'll use my name. And I'd say, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, Amanda Wilcox confesses and repents for anger and unforgiveness towards herself in her heart and in her mind in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. And I would say that as many times as it would take. Okay. Big. And every single time a bad thought would come in or I would rethink of that situation, I would tell that thought, tell myself, tell that thought. I'd repeat scripture. So of course get in the word. Start filling up your life with with script, scripture, set back 15 minutes every morning, even if you have to set an alarm a little bit earlier. Right. And then spend some time in the Word every single morning and with God. Praise. But spend five minutes in the Word and five minutes praising and five minutes praying to God every morning to fill up everything that you're emptying out. Every morning. So it, what's this going to create? Or like, what's the object? Just, just a stronger, real, just to be able to stand in those times when those fiery darts are being thrown at you. Right. Just so you can stand firm on the truth. Okay. All right, so basically it's just repentance, right? Because I'm, I'm one of God's kids. I am saved. I do believe Jesus is, is Son of God, uh, died and resurrected and is alive today, so... I just wanted to make sure I need to start with repentance, right? Just kind of stay on repentance every day. I would do that. Start there. If they become obtrusive and intrusive thoughts that you can't get rid of, you may need some deliverance and go from there. But even in a deliverance session, repentance would already be first step. So you would just speak to God and start. Okay. Right. And no, no unforgiveness, not towards others and not towards yourself either. Okay, so what's unforget or like, what if I hold something or... Say if I, I do have someone I can't forgive, what does that, I mean, does that hurt me or like, do I? 
Uh, if you hold on, unfor- you won't be forgiven if you don't forgive. Is a huge, 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 huge reason to forgive. Okay. A huge reason. And um, if you're harboring f- unforgiveness, then Father will give you to the tormentors. The tormentors. Like unclean, the demons, the unclean spirits. He'll just. So the devil. The devil. But he didn't. He, I mean, he didn't like. He's put me in there. He, I mean, like he built this place, or like how? No. Yeah. No, the choice to harbor unforgiveness. Is my choice. Mm-hmm. So I get what you're saying. So if I choose to hold on to that unforgiveness towards yourself or others, yes, sir. Then that's choosing to walk into hell in a way. Yes. So that's the whole tormentor part, giving you over. He never. It's not like. God is handing me over to them. It's I'm making the choice to go in there. Yeah. And I have to make the choice to not do that no more. Yeah. Okay. And you, you pray, pray, confess, repent, confess the unforgiveness as sin, repent of that unforgiveness, ask God for help, and then plead the blood of Jesus. Say, I have forgiveness that I am unable to let go of. I'm trying so hard. I, a spirit of unforgiveness step away from me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I plead the blood of Jesus all over any areas of unforgiveness in my heart and my mind. So once I rip it out, I need, to, I, need to, I need to fill it back up then, right? Yeah. Okay. That sounds logical. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. I love Thank you, baby. Thank you for asking. I love you too. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for helping the kingdom. And thank you for being such a pretty sight behind you. And you, with the picture behind you, is a sight to see. <laughs> thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Jesus Christ's Amen. Amen.